All right, so we've got a new one today. This one's kind of an oddball because it's not on one of the chains that I've talked about before. It's on the engine uh, blockchain. Uh, I've had a lot of experience with engine before, some other games that I won't mention at this time. But anyways, um, engine. this one, Dungeons Universe, is based on the engine blockchain. Kind of a unique uh, game as far as that goes. Uh, this one here actually boasts about in-game trading of NFTs and that kind of thing. So it's its earning potential is more leaning towards NFT based. And what you'll notice if you look at other engine games, that's really how engine is kind of structured is a lot of their um, kind of push is through NFTs versus uh, coins and stuff like that with earning. Uh, and engine's kind of one of the ones if you if you see or if you're familiar with any of the arguments that a lot of people try to make about you know what's good about nfts and that kind of thing one of the things sometimes people mention is nfts that are cross-platform you have a sword that you gain let's say in dungeons universe you can take it and use it in um, another video game that comes out later or or a different one that's currently out um, I'm not really a great uh, supporter of that because I feel like there is a lot of quirks with that kind of thing. I feel like there's some utility that is unique, but that's not really one of the main reasons to support NFTs and blockchain. I just feel like that's kind of a, a side caveat type thing that could possibly be used. But anyways, back to Dungeons Universe. Uh, they utilize the blockchain here uh, as far as NFT earning and that kind of thing, like pets, materials, other things like that. Um that can be nfts and essentially your journey through dungeons universe is to kill mobs level up do dungeons that kind of thing uh and earn rare nfts through this professions play a lot of uh they say in in that to find the rare nfts i unfortunately have not been lucky enough or oh, never really played enough really to earn anything yet uh, but as we continue on we might see uh, there's also going to be player housing and lands where you can actually set up kind of shop and that kind of thing. And then also auction houses and player shops where you can actually set up your own personal shop and people can actually train or trade uh, NFTs and stuff like that through the market while you're even offline. So that is pretty interesting and uh, we'll kind of look forward to seeing that later on down the road. So anyways, let's hop into Dungeon Universe. I want to show you guys a little bit. Uh, it is uh, the low poly type graphic quality, uh, so you'll notice that kind of right off the bat. Um, I'm a fan. I like it. I feel like games don't have to be super graphically inclined in order for it to, you know, be a viable and fun game. Um, and low poly too, too usually helps with, you know, the lower end computers and stuff like that with running it. So kind of beneficial in that regard. Just give me a warning about the... Uh, that it's new and early in play test, so that can be expected. So yeah, we start. We're in the first area right here. This is the, uh, you know, basic MMO: kill bandits, kill wolves, that kind of stuff. You know, harvest resources. It's actually gonna run over here and see if there was a mining area. Yeah, there's one. So yeah, you can come up here to these nodes and mine and stuff like that to gain some resources and then use those resources to. Uh, kind of advanced from there got some copper ore. you can see like I said it's fairly fairly new uh, the animations and everything like that like I said are kind of rudimentary as far as that goes um, so you know don't don't expect it to be the, like the most flashiest game uh, it is kind of slow paced in that regard but uh, like I said it's still it's still pretty decent has a lot of potential uh, like I said, I'm not really a fan of the engine blockchain things have just it seems a little lackluster and it has a lot of utility as far as the way that it works with other aspects of, of NFTs and collecting in blockchain, but I don't know how well it's going to succeed as far as on the video game thing and then any in long term we'll have to see what, what it does. But yeah, this is uh, pretty much it. Like, you know, you, uh, you can go to the arena and fight. Um, there's like a ranking system. Uh, construction you know you can claim land and build um, like you said you got your inventory basic basic things you would expect for MMO your character you know level up build armor uh, supply yourself with tools and that kind of thing and then just kind of take it from there uh, so yeah and then there's a uh, local shops actually has a shop list that you can go to there's not nothing set up currently in this area but that's what it was talking about where you can set up player shops and kind of trade 
and earn NFTs this way. Now, like I said, the uh, NFTs will be on the engine blockchain. So since it is powered by engine, you would need to get an engine wallet, set that up, and then you can actually access the all of the NFT goodies that this game has to offer. But yeah, if you guys are uh, looking for a pretty simple MMO, very, very classic type play style, uh, definitely give Dungeon Universe a try and uh, see about how you like it. All right, guys, uh, see you in the next game.